Hey everyone, my name is Ike. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the basics of getting started with DXP Cloud. Um, the great thing is the DXP Cloud team makes it really easy. They do a lot of the work for you. So we just have to read through a couple emails and do a few tasks here and there. So right off the bat, the DXP Cloud team has invited me to become the admin member of my project, which is titled LCT University. And if I scroll down, I can see my environments. I have my infra, my production, my dev, and my UAT. I have the option to click into them here. For the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to hit accept invite. And I'm brought here to the DXP Cloud console, and I'm signed in as my administrator role. So this is already a very good sign that things are working. I can click up here on the DXP Cloud icon, and I'm brought to my projects. The four different environments referenced in the email are here as well. And we can see for the dev environment, we have our services deployed. The service I'm most interested in now is right here in the middle. It is Liferay DXP. So I'll click into my development environment, and I want to make sure that Liferay DXP is up and running by checking it out in my browser. So for this, I'm looking for the endpoint from web server, which I can click into right here, and I'm prompted to sign in. I'm going to go into my provisioning email, which when I scroll down in, I can find the password I need right here. The username will be customer, and the password is, well, this. So I'll copy this, and I'll type in customer. And we can confirm that Life Free DXP is up and running. We can also find our login info from the infra environment. I'll click in over here. I'll head into services. Click on our CI service, where I have the option to view our environment variables. This will be the customer username, which is just customer, and this will be my password as well. I can click into these to reveal them. Finally, the last thing to make sure of is that we're all set on GitHub. So I got one final email from a member on the DXP Cloud team, inviting me to a DXP Cloud repository. And for the time being, I'm just going to confirm that I have it. In my GitHub account here, I see that I have a DXP Cloud slash LCT University repository. If you have those things in place, you're all set to get up and running. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Thank you.